Across the globe, houses of worship increasingly have become targets of terrorism the last few years. The imam here says this Ford's mosque has improved security. I would say even within the last year, honestly. Uh, so they have taken a lot of measures because of these meetings. We have become a lot more informed. We've become a lot more aware. Quarterly meetings of the Interfaith Advisory Council, this one at a Mondeer in Robbinsville. The director of New Jersey's Office of Homeland Security and Preparedness says it's the first time a sitting governor has attended one since the council was founded in 2012. I know there is real fear. I have to, uh, I, I cannot ignore that there is real fear in this room. There is a sense that perhaps we have opened our eyes to a world that is not as tolerant as we believed it was. The State Homeland Security Office hosts these council meetings to hear from the leaders of houses of worship and to have them channel fear and concern into real action. It won't quantify the threats or suspicious activity against those houses and people of faith in the state, but urge them to call 911 even if a stranger outside is taking pictures of their buildings. A truck ramming or a bombing or a shooting, etc., they often start with just that, a surveillance, where they go out and take pictures or just look at the, the site, see what's happening out there. So it becomes very much a, a part of a bigger problem, a potential bigger problem. At this Interfaith Advisory Council meeting, the State Office of Homeland Security and Preparedness announced it has even more money for houses of worship so they can prepare for and perhaps even prevent attacks. The Murphy administration is increasing the amount in a nonprofit security grant program from $800,000 to a $1 million to go beyond providing just security guards, but actually funding security camera systems and locks and more with grants up to $50,000. This was a great first start, but the threat environment has evolved. Based off of your, your layout, the, uh, the building facility site assessment, we want to make sure that we customize that resource and that solution to your unique house of worship. The Homeland Security Office would not say how many grants have been applied for or approved, but urges faith leaders to apply. The governor says statistics show bias incidents increasing nationally and in New Jersey. It seems that bigots are being emboldened. Imam Farhan Siddiqui says his mosque received a death threat a year ago, one reason he's a member of the Interfaith Advisory Council, which has grown from 150 members to more than 3,000. And they're doing a really good job of bringing all the faith traditions together. I just wish this is something that we did more on a national level and something that we could actually come together and realize that we do come together in times of tragedy, but it is very important for us to also take preventative measures so that we don't have to deal with those tragedies. In Robbinsville, Michael Hill, NJTV News.